Welcome back to the channel guys, today we're going to be talking about the rarest ships from Destiny 1. Recently I made a video about the rarest weapons from Destiny 1, so if you missed that video be sure to check it out after you watch this one. But as for this video, these ships are some of the rarest ones you can find in the entire game, some of which I still haven't been able to get no matter how much I've grinded for them. And if you go on to enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Destiny 1 content, but let's just get right into the video. Now just like the last video, this isn't necessarily a top 5 or a top 10 because it's a bit harder to order them in any list, but these are the ones that I found to be the most rare in the entirety of D1. Up first is the Nano Phoenix from the Wrath of the Machine raid. This awesome ship came from the final chest at the end of the hard mode raid clear and had an insanely low drop rate. Based on some of the numbers I found on this reddit post which are not perfect data, however I'd say it's probably pretty accurate since I've never seen it drop and only know one person who actually has it, they calculated that the drop was around 1.2% which is crazy low. It might be the hardest ship to get in the game currently, speaking strictly from a drop chance perspective. And it's a damn good looking ship that still eludes me, and if you have this ship just know that you're extremely lucky. Next up is the Glass Minuet ship from the Vault of Glass raid. This ship was one of two ships available from Vault of Glass, the other being the Aspect of Glass. And the Aspect of Glass was the hard mode ship drop and actually wasn't too hard to get having a much higher drop rate than the Glass Minuet. But the Glass Minuet was only obtainable on normal mode and had a very, very low drop rate. Unfortunately, there's no real data on drop rates online that I could find, but I'll just say that I've never seen this ship drop except for the one time it did for me on around my 10th clear, which makes me pretty lucky. The ship doesn't really look all that special, so I wouldn't be too upset if you don't have it, but if you're a collector like me, then it's definitely something pretty hard to get if you're trying to farm for it, and it is still farmable in the level 26 Vault of Glass, so if you don't have it, that's how you're going to be able to get it. Vienna Singer is an amazing looking ship that was exclusive to the Lost to Light heroic mission by completing the alternate ending. Finishing this much more difficult version of the mission bagged you the exotic sniper Black Spindle which was a guaranteed drop, but there was also a very rare chance of also getting the Vienna Singer ship to drop as well. And it's hard to say what the drop rate was, but most people I know don't actually have this ship. I myself do not have it despite farming it actively for weeks. So it's safe to say that it's pretty dang rare. Initially your chance at running this mission only happened about once a month when it became the daily heroic, however Bungie later allowed everybody to farm this mission over and over any day of the week by adding it into the regular heroic mission you could select from the moon. Much much later Bungie added a ship to the April update that could be acquired through the sterling treasure cases that had a very similar design except in a different color, but these were the only two ships in the game with that unique design with the glowing outline. Personally, I prefer the color scheme for the Vienna Singer, I just think it's so badass, and I definitely envy those who have this one. Up next is a pretty unique one, the CX-20 Slipper Misfit. It's a rare ship, and what I mean by that is that it's a blue quality rare ship sold by Amanda Holiday at the tower. Now Amanda Holiday has an inventory of 5 ships and 5 sparrows that rotate every few days, However, the CX Slipper Misfit is so rare that Amanda has only sold it four times since the release of the game back in 2014. The first time she sold this ship was all the way back in October of 2014, just a few weeks after the game launched. The second time is in June of 2015, shortly after House of Wolves released. And the third time is in February 2017, almost six months after the Rise of Iron expansion. The fourth and final time it's been up for sale was in May of 2019, almost two years into Destiny 2, which is just wild. Obviously this doesn't take any luck or skill to obtain, just patiently waiting and watching to see if she has it for sale, which seems to be very, very infrequent, being only four times in the last, what has it been now? Eight years almost? I was able to snag it during the third time it was sold in February 2017, and I'm glad I got it while I could. Who knows the next time this thing will be sold? It's really hard to say. I don't understand why it's so rare and why it's not sold more often. But that being said, the ship itself isn't anything special, it's pretty bland looking, I mean it is just a blue quality rare after all, but for collectors, you need this one to complete a full ship collection, so keep your eyes out. Next up are the faction ships that are pretty rare, especially during year one. You had a chance at getting them by opening rank up packages with your faction, and they were just tough to come by just like the highly sought after shaders. The ships looked pretty average in year one, but after Taken King, the faction ships really started to look great, and while not the hardest ships to get considering we all ranked up factions passively at a pretty good rate, 
They still were hard to acquire, especially if you had a hard time pledging the faction to other than your main one, or you didn't use your other characters that often who were pledged to different factions so you could acquire them all. But those who put in the time on each faction to get all these ships definitely deserve them because it was an absolute grind for sure. The Hebridean Thought Crime is a year two Iron Banner ship that would drop after reaching rank five in the Iron Banner and then continuously farming games while at rank five. It had a ridiculously low drop rate, something around three or 4% based on some of the averages I was able to find online and not many people had it. I was able to snag one during year two, but for those who never got it during year two, Bungie actually increased the drop rate of it a little bit during year three and allowed it to drop from both matches or bounties, which also increased your chances of getting it as well. So while it's no longer the rarest ship anymore by any means, it still is fairly rare despite the bump in the drop rate. So if you have this one, count yourself pretty lucky. Lastly, we'll talk about a ship that was once very rare and then lost its rarity because Bungie reintroduced it as a drop during year three. And that would be the Chasing Infinity ship from the original Queen's Wrath event. Chasing Infinity could be acquired by completing a specific bounty from the Queen that would drop on a rare chance and for a while, this was probably the rarest ship in the entire game. Just like the weapons from the Queen's Wrath event we talked about in my last video, the Chasing Infinity was only obtainable during this two week event back in October 2014. But two years later in the Rise of Iron expansion, Bungie would add Chasing Infinity to be obtainable by ranking up Petrovenge reputation at the Reef. This caused a lot of people to be upset and understandably so considering they had something very valuable and rare that they felt was exclusive to the lucky few and Bungie just kind of took all that rarity away from it by adding it to these rank up packages with a pretty high drop rate. It was a little bit of a slap in the face to those who had grinded for it all those years ago and it's pretty unfortunate what Bungie did to what once was the rarest ship in the game. One honorable mention I'll throw in here is the unrepaired jump ship. This jump ship is the starter ship, so maybe you're wondering what's so rare about it. Well, you need to get the old ship from the first mission of Destiny 1, but make sure not to talk to Amanda Holiday to have it repaired, and instead just throw it in the vault or something. When it's in the unrepaired state, the ship has a bluish color to it rather than the white. So this isn't necessarily rare in the traditional sense, but it's unique in that most people have repaired the ship on all three of their characters. So if you don't want to delete a character to go reacquire the original unrepaired version, then there's no way of getting it again, considering it doesn't appear at the kiosk. Only the repaired version does. Again, not really rare in the traditional sense, but rare in a bit of a different way. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and let me know what Destiny 1 video you'd like to see next. Whether that be more rare item videos or new character stuff, just let me know in the comments section, and I will see you all in the next one.